Shabbat Shalom. How wonderful it is for us to be together this Shabbat night. The genesis for this idea of coming together, not only as a temple community, but also as, a, as consciously as a Fort Wayne Jewish community, came from a conversation I had a couple of months ago with my friend and communal colleague, Jackie Schreier of the Jewish Federation. And thanks to the efforts of a team of volunteers and a few staff, here we are. I appreciated and am inspired by the divrei kihila, the words of community that we heard this evening from Stan and from Amy. I have been thinking a lot about community, not only in preparation for this service, but more or less since the time that John and I arrived in Fort Wayne this past spring. You may recall this teaching that I shared in my Yom Kippur sermon. A Torah scholar is not permitted to reside in any city that does not, does not have these 10 things. A court that has authority to flog and punish transgressors. A charity fund for which monies are collected by two people and distributed by three. A synagogue, a bathhouse, a public bathroom, a doctor, a blood letter, a scribe, a ritual slaughterer, and a teacher of young children. This text comes from a debate in Talmud about the qualities of a city that will qualify it to host different levels of legal courts. On Yom Kippur, I observed that this list is telling because in addition to the utilitarian functions of health, sanitation, education, and commerce, the rabbis require that there is a mechanism for meeting out justice and for providing tzedakah, as well as a center for Jewish learning and prayer. The rabbis were debating about a communal legal structure, but in this description, there was one thing missing, the people. I'm reminded of something from a past life when I was working in the high technology industry and I was a member of a team working on an obscure and ultimately unsuccessful project, something that we would call social media today. I worked with a brilliant woman named Jenna Woodle, who often used this phrase to remind us of the purpose of our work. It's the people, stupid. Yes, it is all about the people, because at the first and at the last, we have each other. This week, we read Parshat Yitro from the book of Exodus. This is a blockbuster Torah portion in which God transmits the Ten Commandments to the Israelites and also reframes the covenant. It goes, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians, how I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you to me. Now then, if you will obey me faithfully and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession among all the peoples. Indeed, all the earth is mine, but you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. All the people answered as one saying, all that Adonai has spoken, we will do. This moment crystallizes the relationship between God and the Jewish people. The relationship that began with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and continues here with Moses. This is a moment that is deeply rooted in the Torah of our people and connects each of us to it with its timeless promise. Lest we have any doubt at all about the strength of this connection, Jewish tradition teaches that not only were the newly released slaves from Egypt with Moses standing before God at Sinai, but also all the Jews who would be born in subsequent generations, including all those who would join the Jewish people through conversion. As members of the Jewish people, each of whom was present and affirmed the acceptance of the covenant, we have a deep and abiding connection to one another. We were together at the first and we will be connected to the generations of Jews who will live after us. This connection 
runs much deeper than how one practices Judaism or how one contributes to our communal life. Just by drawing breath as Jews, we are innately connected to God and to each other. While I believe that being a part of Am Israel, the Jewish people, has a deeply spiritual component to it, it is also a very practical relationship. Anita Diamant writes, You cannot be Jewish in isolation. Torah study is a communal enterprise, not a solitary pursuit. There are no Jewish hermits or monasteries. Community is as fundamental to Judaism as monotheism, which is why so many Jewish prayers can only be recited in the presence of a minyan, a quorum of ten adults. Caring for the Jewish community through charity, through teaching, or through working in any of the wide range of Jewish communal enterprises is as much of a mitzvah as is prayer. Because we were all at Sinai, we are all connected and we are all responsible to one another. Decades after the Israelites received the Ten Commandments and all of the other mitzvot from God, Moses addressed them by saying, Atem nitzavim hayom chuchem lifnei Adonai Elohechem. You stand this day, all of you, before Adonai, your God. The Israelites in Exodus, in Deuteronomy, and their descendants always and everywhere stand and are connected to one another to form a kehila kedosha, a holy, sacred community. Tonight, may we embrace our sacred heritage and embrace one another. May we hold each other up, and may each of us be inspired by our connection to one another. May we point one another toward the light. Shabbat Shalom. If you are a Tem, then we're Nitzavim. We stand here today and remember the dream. If you are a Tem, then we're Nitzavim. We stand here today and remember the dream. Kahila, Kedosha, Kahila, Kedosha, Kahila. Kedosha, Kehila, Kedosha, Lai, 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 each one of us must play the part, each one of us must heed the call, each one of us must seek the truth, each one of us is a part of it all, each one of us must remember the pain, each one of us must find the joy, each one of us, each one of us, each one of us. Each one of us must play the part, each one of us must heed the call, each one of us must seek the truth, each one of us is a part of it all, each one of us must remember the pain, each one of us must find the joy, each one of us, each one of us. Kehila, Kedosha, Kehila, Kedosha, Kehila. Kedosha, Kehila, Kedosha, Lai, 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 Lai,
one of us must start to hear Each one of us must sing the song Each one of us must do the work Each one of us must right the wrong Each one of us must build the hope Each one of us must hold the hope Each one of us, each one of us Each one of us must start to hear Each one of us must sing the song Each one of us must do the work each one of us must right the wrong Each one of us must build the home Each one of us must hold the hope Each one of us, each one of us Kehila, Kedosha Kehila, Kedosha Kehila, Kedosha Kehila, Kedosha It's how we help, it's how we give, it's how we pray, it's how we heal, it's how we live, it's how we help, it's how we give, it's how we pray. It's how we heal, it's how we live. If you are a Tem, then we're Nitzavim. We stand here today and remember the dream. If you are a Tem, then we're Nitzavim. We stand here today and remember the dream. Kehila, Kedosha, Kehila. Kedosha, Kehila, Kedosha, Kehila, Kedosha, Lai, 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 Lai,